Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong. Well, I regret to inform you that there will be no Fez Night tonight. And um, I believe that I might go on an indefinite hiatus. Instead, I will bring you a tagged your it video because I was tagged by Giraffe Pooh. So I hope this will be, in some ways, a, um, a reasonable substitute for Fez Night. I know it doesn't quite measure up to an actual Fez Night. And for Giraffe Pooh, your suggestions for my five, uh, five tag your it items was very amusing, but I decided to go a different way. Okay? All right, this is Citizen Kong. Till next time, cheers. This is Citizen Kong speaking with five random things about me. I have a cat named Buster, and he won't sit still or let me film him. <laughs> there he is. And right now, right now, he wants me to, he wants to be petted. And when I can, I always line dry my clothes, and I almost always wear Levi's 501 jeans. And it's not a commercial. I'm just a creature of habit. Oh, and I almost always carry a bandana in my pocket, just in case. You never know when it will come in handy. I once went to an auction, and they were serving wine, and I got drunk, and I bought this piece of art. Pretty awful, isn't it? Here at my scooter. It's a Vespa copy made in India called a Bajaj and it has a, uh, a modern uh, ignition system and it's got this cool retro seat that I bought as an aftermarket bit. It's not the manliest thing in the world, but I think it's pretty cool. This is the most expensive piece of metalworking equipment that I ever bought. It's made in England and it's called a rolling mill. And what you can do with it is you can melt down, uh, I use it to melt when I melt down silver, or in this case I have a piece of pewter in here, melt it down and make an ingot, and then you can form it by turning this crank into, basically you can flatten out the metal and change its shape. And so you can make your own sheet and your own wire. Okay, here is one example of, um, this is typical of me, that I start an art project and then I don't finish it, and hopefully I go back to it in the future at some point. This is a, um, a chasing and repasse project that I was making for my friend Carolyn. Um, she wanted a piece of art and I started making it for her, and then at some point she stopped talking to me, so then I stopped making it. But this is a, a copper sheet and this is a stylized wave pattern around the border here and uh, in the center I was going to chase a, um, a uh, sun symbol. These are the various chasing tools and there's a special hammer that they use to pound the end not sideways like that but I can't I don't have more than more than two hands to show you this but um, uh, you pound it and then it's pounded in the metal with the copper and uh, these are the various chasing tools. Now here is an example of something that I did finish. This is for my ex-girlfriend Patrick. This is a pewter plate that I made for her and I don't know if you can sort of make, there's an engraving in the base here somewhere where I wrote, wrote my name and, uh, and it's got like a, a high polish edge and it's got a textured uh, finish and this is solid pewter that I melted down from a scrap pewter and um, uh, pounded this out and made this for her. And uh, I mean, it could use it could use a few more things, but that's it. That was a plate. So that's an example of something that I did finish.